Yo, baby bubba, this is Eddie, and I haven't made a wood carving or whittle video in about five years. Took a little break off. Those are my old ones up there from the past, and I recently got back into it. So um, this is one I kind of started with getting back into it. It's a ball and cage with a little twirly thing and kind of like a handle. Uh, this is something I got from a tutorial, the idea uh, on YouTube, tutorial. And this is another tutorial I got, and... Uh, just kind of wood spirit or old man and wood. Not much going on in the back. Just was practicing. And then I got a little more technical. Put my own spin on it. And uh, you can find some really good tutorials online. And this one here was just practice. Just kind of getting the face. Practicing with the face. And I did another one on the other side. And this one was my own idea as well. Really been enjoying whittling lately. Just come up with different creations. And another one similar to the last. I didn't know what to name it, so I just said, don't be an angry head. But you can see the detail in that. I don't know if you could see it with the video, but there's nothing going on in the back. I just was really kind of practicing and no hair or anything. It's kind of the shape of the wood in the back. And this, uh, you could see many of these online photos. Not a tutorial, just kind of got the idea I made a few of these in the past. This one definitely came out the best. I painted the eyes to give it a little life. Um, here's in a ball and cage. This was pretty cool. It's just stuck in there. It doesn't do anything, but a lot of people like this one. And I did a three-in-one puzzle here. You have the, uh, the wheel, you have the plunger. I'm trying to do this with one hand, and of course, the ball and cage on the end. That was a fun little project. This is what I'm working on now. I, I just, it's the same thing that I learned from these tutorials here that I took this tutorial, and I uh, expanded the beard. So once again, it's not going to have much going on in the back, but it's still fun. I'm trying to get a good look at it here. That's something I made also on the wall with some driftwood and that as well. I don't. I never showed my tools, so I'm going to give a quick look at that. I got a nice little toolbox where I keep everything. Another bag where I keep it. This is the wood I use. I order that online. It's basswood. These are the tools I use. I recently bought these. Uh, I mostly use this one right here. It's what the cheapest one too, but I like it the best. Got the mi micro tools. Got some more gouges. And I always wear a glove. I sharpen my gouges with this that I bought. This is the name of it right here, Flex Cut Slip Strap. And this is something I made. I got the idea from a, a friend. All it is is a, a leather belt on one side. And this is the what side I use most, the rough side. And yo, baby bubba. That's it. I hope you enjoyed that. Take care. See you next time. Bye.